think it's, it becomes dramatic when you say, oh, a politician stole a large sum of money and it wasn't. I'm saying that even at the lowest level, at the very lowest level, a person pilfers money from a bank, steals money, a cashier steals money. A person steals money from a church, steals money from the offering. All of those are never prosecuted. In any other society, everybody who steals or anybody who steals is convicted and sent to jail. We have a system where everyone believes that either I beg or I bribe, one way or the other, I will be free of the law. That is the norm. That's the way everyone reasons. I and mean, if, if, for example, today, somebody here, somebody here were to steal and Pastor Wale were to take the person from here to the police station, as is his duty to do, and the person is taken to the magistrate court on Monday, I am sure that there will be several people here who will come to Pastor Wale's house in the evening and say, Pastor Wale, temper justice with mercy. You are coming. Now, 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 it's a mind, now, now, we're dealing with a mindset. We're dealing with a mindset. I was at Tony General for eight years, and I found lots and lots of things. In fact, I made so many enemies amongst people who I expected would support what I was trying to do or what I was trying to achieve. Why? Because they would, everybody felt that they should pay. That's the way our society is. Our society has organized itself in such a way that the chances that you will be held accountable for what you do wrong are very slim indeed. But it becomes dramatic when you talk about an evil who will drive through the system. But even at the lowest levels, that's what we experience. So what we need to do is not to go, I mean, you can, we can chase after all of those who have resources because it's important and it's more dramatic. You can see it, you know. But what is important is a, mind, it, 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 it is a change in our mind. And for us to insist, again, I come back to the church, for us to insist that justice must be done. Law and order is absolutely critical to any society. And that means you and I cannot get away with any kind of offense at that level and at every other level. When you look at politicians, what politicians do is exactly what, what, what bankers do, what people who are even health authorities. Look at, look, at, look at hospitals, a hospital where the lift does not work. Who is embezzling the money? A public hospital where the lift doesn't work. Who is embezzling the money? It's the doctors. A bank where large sums of money, where, where the bank is taking large sums of money, the bank breakers. So there is private corruption, there is public corruption, and nobody is being held accountable. My drive, if, 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 if I have a driver who, you give him 5,000, and he buys only 2,000 naira worth of fuel, he knows that he's not going to be punished for it. He knows. He knows that. He knows that the worst case is that he'll be sent away. That's the worst case. I'm not going to hand him over to the police. In any other society, you'll be handed over to the police. Maintaining law and order is the fundament of orderly society anywhere in the world. If you don't have that, you can't hold the big guy accountable. You can't. Because the big guy is more influential than even the person who is going to come and beg. So how do you hold him accountable? So that really is it. I think that we are we're faced with a situation with a law and order challenge. And somebody has to be able to deal with that. You know, that's why I keep saying that at the moment we have government that doesn't, it's, it's dysfunctional. They don't have an understanding of the basic issues. You cannot not have law and order. And I was just saying to you just before we came out of here, you cannot not have law and order. If you don't have law and order, that's, 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 that's a starting point for society. And it is holding people accountable at every level.